Last time on Secrets of Monster Island, our adventurers had finally uh, reached the camp and uh, the place where they were going to set up camp and set up there uh, and dealt with uh, a high elf or half high elf uh, who uh, uh, bear a striking resemblance to uh, Lurko. Uh, he, you fall with him and he escaped uh, and ran off but after you checked up with the village got paid uh or the small town he got paid uh you went searching for him in the forest once again uh only to be greeted by a shadow uh which you chased down into the forest and after chasing it for a tiny bit uh all of a sudden rumbling started in the ground and now standing in front of you you see this big giant beefy cockroach uh, also known as an Umber Hulk. Umber Hulk! So allow me to... Beefy Cockroach is much more evocative. It is. <laughs> Very true. Kind of horrifying. I think this is the right page. It is. All right, place yourselves wherever you wish. All right. Oh. Let me switch the OBS. Okay, there we go. So, sorry, let me get the umber hulk out there right there yeah so you'd probably be a little bit closer to him but other than that you can place yourselves wherever since that you were chasing just a shadow um unfortunately i need to put our lube out there i think i'll be back here <laughs> unfortunately the umber hulk is going first. <laughs> uh, yeah, we all had really bad rolls. All right, he's going to walk up to you, Mr. Yodelay, and is going to make three attacks. Uh, first off, two with its claws, 11 to hit, 16 to hit, uh, 11 points of slashing damage. Clock me right on the elbow. And then he is going to make a mandibles attack. Not the mandibles. For a nom, 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 nom. So he misses. Sweet. Uh, and that will be his turn. As it comes to Yodele, I need you to do something for me. Make me a charisma saving throw. Not oh, no. that one. Anything but that one. <gasps> Nat 20, nice. Gather 19. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, you get to do whatever you wish. Oh. That's... As 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 you as you're kind of as you're kind of looking at this creature, you look in its eyes, and all of a sudden it just kind of dazes and surprises you, as you kind of get over it. But it is quite creepy. Oh, don't look in the eyes of the Infinity Toad. Um. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna move my Echo up into this very tall tree right next to me as high up as I can and right. then use my bonus action to swap places with it so that I am not in the path of dangers and I will hit this dude mightily smitely you don't have to pop <laughs> 16 damage uh, oh, I'm sorry 16 to, 16, 16 to hit 16 to hit oh 16 to hit that will miss actually Oof. as this like, guy it, it hits him but it doesn't go completely through his uh body he's deceptively nimble for such a big thing all right past turn all right um arlube is going to look at this and say oh oh, oh gosh i uh, i need to help my friends and then he's going to cast bless yeah, so you are, are blessed. Yay! As he is going to actually just avert his gaze from the thing. Uh, Yuri. He should be running behind that tree right there is what he should be doing. He's actually... Like a good little coward. Uh, Yuri, are you looking at it? Uh, I think I'm gonna have to be looking at it. Uh, maybe a wisdom saving throw. Blessed. Um, so, yeah, it's not going to help that much. Uh, 11. 
11 for your Christmas saving throw? Mm. Yes. Uh, let me see. That unfortunately fails, and I need to roll a d8. Uh, you do nothing. <laughs> unfortunately. Nothing. Okay. Okay, then I pass turn. All right. Stupefy! Uh, Arlen. Oh, no. Are you going to look at it? All right. I am going to... Yes. Charisma saving throw, my friend. Twenty-five. All right, you are, you're good to go. Nat, nat twenty plus a four on that d twenty. Sweet. On that d four, I mean. Excuse me. Nat four. All right. Uh, well, let's see if we can do any damage whatsoever on our attacks. We'll start with a but, regular oh, attack. Uh, Derek, that, did you add a d, did you add a d four to your wisdom saving throw? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So remember, you guys get a d4 to saving throws and and attack rolls. At 18 to hit. That'll hit. Seven points of damage. All right. And flurry blows. Get him! 16 to hit. That'll miss. Second, Second attack. attack, 20 to hit. That'll hit. Oh, wait, did you roll a d4 with your that second attack? Yeah. Yeah, that okay. all includes my d4s. All right. I'm yeah, I rolled just... a six. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. What's going on here? Not getting damage here. I don't know why. Well, 11. Yeah, 11 points of damage. No. That's from your That rapier. was my rapier. My unarmed strike. Six, Six. points of damage. All right, so you stab it. Stab right through it. Good hit try to punch it the first time just once again doesn't go right through and then you see a open shot and you punch it and it goes right through and you pull it back out and he is looking yeah. and what did i move 15 feet you know what i'm gonna i'm going to just let's see if this works i'm moving away do it okay he's going to take a mandibles tack of you then uh-huh for a 15 to hit, so that misses. That misses. That's what was hoping for. <laughs> Alrighty then. It is the Umber Hulk's turn again. All of a sudden you see uh, it sort of stand there for a second. And then you see parts of its skin tr start to come up out of it. As you see off of it appearing a bunch of little tiny cockroaches. <laughs> Oh, at least tiny. At least tiny compared to it. But uh, let me do. Oops. It's having little babies. Yep, it just gave birth, <laughs> basically. Uh, but it's it's they're still fairly decently size size. Kind of think of like the Fallout Four, uh, rad roaches. But yes, uh, that is its action though. Yodelay. Hmm, that's off putting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Not one. Uh, I, need to, you, uh, I need you to make me a charisma saving throw, though. Unfortunately, I don't get a chance to not look at him. You can choose not to look at him, if you. Wish. I was gonna not look at him because okay. it made me so sick in my soul. All right, then you look and away. I was going to use my action to look through my bat eyes and use my blind sight. Okay, that so sounds. That, like, that sounds good. Do it. And then. Uh, with that, I'm going to use my bonus action, unarmed strike, with through my echo, okay. and punch that dude right in the kisser for 24 to hit. That'll hit. For nine, and feeling very, uh, I'm going to use my, uh, feeling very encouraged by my hit, I'm going to use my uh, action surge and do it one more time. Alrighty. Hit that sucker. Yeah, do it. 20 to hit. That'll hit. For max damage, 11. I didn't even roll my D4s on those. Woo. So All right. you, you kind of switch to your uh, bat's vision, and you can see just the form uh, very simply made out using the bat's uh, blind sight as you just kind of take two jabs, two punches at it, and it it 
definitely takes those punches. Uh, you're and in doing so, I'm going to move my echo to his backside. You know, as I'm okay. as I'm I'm working the body all the way around, try to turn this thing. All right, you're so not looking at my friends. You're your turn. I am trying to figure out how far this uh, this charisma save thing is going to go. So I move back thirty feet, and uh, can I target him now? I'm looking at him. Uh, you are good to go. Yep. Okay. Okay, so 12 will not hit. Will a 15 hit? 15, unfortunately, will not hit. As it just okay. Kinda, I... Yeah, as, it, as the first one just completely fly, flies by and the second one hits it, but just doesn't pierce through the skin. Pass turn. All right. Wait, Arlen, Arlen, you should catch that arrow that ricocheted off of him. <laughs> uh, Arlube is going to do... Uh, let's see what he's going to do. Oh, he got pretty high on his Christmas save. He's going to uh, make it make a deck save. Which it... Let's see here. Succeeds on, unfortunately. Uh, so that'll be Arlube's turn. Uh, Arlen. All right. Same thing here. We're going to go up 15 feet. Start with a rapier attack. All right. Whoop. 20 to hit for nine points of damage. <laughs> Flurry of blows. Whoop. 16 does not hit. Unfortunately. Whoop. 22 to hit for seven points of damage. All right, so you uh, once again stab, come miss with the, your second attack, but then hit with your uh, third one. Yep, as it's gonna back away again. It's looking pretty bad, but oh, another opportunity attack. Okay, mandibles attack. Ooh, that'll be a twenty, a non, uh, non natural yep, twenty that, to hit. That gets me. Uh, You've been mandible. I've been mandible. Ugh. Uh, that'll be ew, 18 points of uh, pure slashing. As the mandibles do a lot of damage. Jinkies. All right. Uh, unfortunately, it is the small one's turns. As this one's going to move over here 20 feet. Uh, and make a bite attack at you. Uh, so this is not one to hit. Uh, this one's going to attack the uh, Echo. Uh, 22 to hit the Echo. It does. For four points of piercing. It doesn't matter how much it is. Yeah, <laughs> just one. This one's going to run over to Arlube. No, oh. Arlube! And you're up in the tree, aren't you? Yes. As high as my 30 foot distance will get me. All right, so this tree is probably, I'd say, probably about, uh, it's a pretty tall tree. I'd say 20 feet up. Uh, and it's going to start climbing up to you. <laughs> I'm not okay with that. <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just climbing up against the wood. It just got more disturbing than it was before. <laughs> I didn't know this was a horror podcast. Um, anyways, Umber Hulk is going to you miss one of his little babies no that's the one that attacked the echo uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. i was also that kid in school that said you forgot to give us homework <laughs> that's right. uh he's gonna run over and understanding he can't climb up a tree is going to punch the tree <laughs> oh gosh this is gonna my be dice, fun my dice just fell under the thing um, ow. <laughs> Let's see. Did he fell the tree? He he hit all his attacks on the tree. Ooh. Uh, because the tree is quite easy to hit. Oh, yeah. Let's just see how much damage it does. It only has wood armor. Yeah. Oh, wait. Mark skin. <laughs> Mark skin. Very true. Uh, tree is yeah. down. The tree is down. So he punches the tree, and then you see the mandibles come in and just kind of crunch it, 
As, yep, the tree kind of falls over a little bit. As I need you to make me a, maybe a dexterity saving throw. Yikes. The cockroach needs to make a dexterity save too. Uh, let me roll a d4 with that, because, you know, why not? But, oh yeah, 27. 27, alright, so you manage to uh, catch yourself onto the tree and ride it down very carefully as you take no damage. Uh, but the cockroach on the tree also takes no damage, much like a real cockroach in real life, whenever it gets crushed. <laughs> uh, and Yodale, your turn. All right, well, since we're on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm going. I'm going to move right back over here and use my action to have that thing the Umber Hulk being that thing. Give me an intelligence save. I don't think it's good at those. Are you, uh, are you still using your bat? Oh, no, I'm not, because I, I got distracted in the fall. Okay, so maybe a charisma save. And I definitely have to see him. 18. All right, you're good. Intelligence save. Even with a minus one, that is a 17. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. He doesn't take anything. Alright, anything else? I was trying to hit him with a mind sliver. And so I'm going to use my bonus action to bring my shadow back. And since it doesn't cost anything, I'm going to move him 30 feet to the next tree. I actually just figured out you didn't you didn't need to make that charisma save. My bad. Uh, oh! Is it, once, is it once you save, you're immune? No, it's uh, it's a specific feat. Oh. I think I think I might have messed up with you two, uh, Yuri, on the first time because I didn't realize how far away you were. Ah. So sorry about that. It's okay. Uh, Yuri, your turn. Okay, let's uh, bonus action hunter's mark okay. the uh, Umber Hulk, and it's a. Hey, there we go. That's going to hit. So, 24 to hit for 13 points of damage. Ouchie. On the Umber Hulk, and I will pass turn. All right. It is looking pretty bad. Uh, our lube is going to make Christmas Christmas save. Uh, failure. <laughs> so he does. Let's see what he does. Does nothing. All right. Arlen, your turn. All right. Uh, since I won't be out of its attack range when I move over here, I'm going to try and let's see if we can take down Charisma save. Hulk. Yes, Charisma save coming up. 19. Nice. Rape your attack. All right. 24 to hit for 11 Good. points of damage. Ow. <laughs> My okay. final flurry of blows. 14. That will miss. 18. That'll hit. Seven points of damage. It is looking so very Oh, bad. no. Oh, <laughs> uh, we could be in a big honking heap of trouble here, but. Who's we? I'm so far away from you. I can't hear your self-recrimination. <laughs> I know. We're going to. Move over here, and he gets an opportunity attack. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to try it. Mandibles. Mandibles. Yep. 17 to hit. Misses! All right. Dodged right out of the way. I, I ducked and dodged and dipped and dodged. Do dod. Do dod out of the way. All right. The cockroach, or the small cockroaches, one's going to make an attack at you. Arlen? Yes. For a 19 to hit. That'll hit. Five points of piercing. Oh, very so good. Whoops. Uh, next go. one's going to go against Mr. You tell us Oh, wait. <laughs> Don't I wish. 23 against Arlube for six points of damage as he gets hit. Arlube, defend yourself. <laughs> Um, this one is going to... Don't be afraid to run away like a coward. Come over here to you, Mr. Viable strategy. 
Mr. Yoda Day. What? That is going to make a nine. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna stomp this thing in a minute. Yeah. This, this one's going to <laughs> try to get over to you with a dash. It's dash. Still trying. <laughs> That's uh, gonna be terrifying to see it dashing at you. <laughs> wow, just... how fast is that thing? <laughs> <laughs> I am 90 feet. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm 60 feet away from that thing. Oh, those things are fast for little guys. All right, uh -oh, here Hulk we go. Is going to claw He's you. He's got to roll bad. He did roll bad for this first attack. I'm going to use the virtual dice now. 25. Yeah. For eight points of slashing. <laughs> How much? Eight points of slashing. Yeah, he's down. Uh, you know what? Yeah. He's gonna burrow underground. Oh. Ugh. So now you can't see him. <laughs> uh. Yo, delay. You just I've saw. I know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna swap places with my Echo in this tree. Okay. And then move my Echo just up off the ground. Uh, over in this tree. I'm going to move him high into the top of this tree. So we're going to be uh, both hiding up top. And I'll take a I'll take a shot at this little guy. I'll pull my bow out. Stupid cockroach. I'll teach you. Yeah, 21 plus 4, whatever it might be. That'll four. hit. I figured it would. All right, 4. Boom, 10 damage. I, I stuck that thing to the ground. Yep, it's dead. <laughs> like a like a bug in my science fair project in sixth grade. Yes. Pinned it like a butterfly. I didn't catch any butterflies. I have beetles out here. All right. Anything That's else? it. That's all I want to do. I want to hide in my trees and nobody make a smell. All right. Yuri, your turn. Okay, so... I'm going to drop my bow, pull out my short sword, and uh, that's a 19 to hit That'll for hit. four points of damage. All right, it's still um, up. Um, He's a little bit hardier than most cockroaches. That's that's very true. Uh, okay, yeah, I passed turn. I messed up, but uh, I passed turn. Uh, was that your short sword? Do you have a second one? Like a dagger? I do. You have a dagger, but, I, but you can can you interact with more than one? So if I drop my bow, pull out a sword, you only get one interaction with object per round, right? No, I'd say you could have both. Or can you? I'd say okay, I'd say so... you're, you're so fast and reflexive that you could pull out your short sword and your dagger at the same time. Surely a ranger of your level pulls out both weapons at the same yeah. time. I mean, you've been to the show okay. before. Then uh, a D six. Yep. To this one. And because uh, I don't have dual wielder, and uh, that's five points of damage. It is that dead. Guy. As you just slash, hey! slash, and not the most traditional way to kill a cockroach, but just like Ew. your hero, Driz. <laughs> <laughs> True. And I will uh, keep my eye out for the unburrowing Umbra Hulk. All right, our lube is going to. Take an Get armor. off Actually, the ground! Arlo's, Arlo's gonna cure wounds on you. Uh, Yay! <laughs> Yay. Uh, for I live on a, how far away is this? Eight points oh, of healing. 90 feet? You can't hear. Eight points oh. of healing, Arlen. There's eight my point. bleep for the day. Sorry. There's your bleep for the day. Alright, Arlen. Thank you for the eight points. I'm gonna take that off. It is my turn. Yep. As I change that to an eight. Stand up, and I'm going to squash me a bug. Yep. Uh, we will start with a quarter staff attack, two handed. 15 to hit. That will hit. 15 to hit. Uh, 12 points of damage. It's dead. As you just kind of take the end of the quarter staff and just smash it into the ground. Yeah, and we're gonna come over here 
and uh, use an unarmed strike against that cockroach. We're going to try and step on it. Okay. <laughs> uh, 13. 13 will... I think that'll miss, actually. That will miss. Okay. I tried. It was kind of freaking me out. <laughs> kind of creepy. Um, oh, this is my turn. This cockroach is going to get one more turn in. Because uh, I think it's the only one left alive. Yep. Uh, it's going to attempt to bite you. For a 23 to hit. Oh my gosh. Is that five <laughs> points? Five points of piercing. Ouch. Alright. Um, the Umber Hulk <laughs> is going to sense some more movement over here and is going to burst back out. Ah! Uh, oh! Um. And so, attack come, claw attack coming at you, Arlen. Yep. 24 to hit. Yep. 7 points of slashing. That's it, I'm down. Alright, then claw attack coming at Mr. Uh, Grung. For a hit, 9 points of slashing. He is barely up, but I don't think he'll survive oh, the mandibles. As... That's a 23 to hit as Arlub falls unconscious as well. Oh, well, that's uh, a problem. And Yodelay, your turn. All right. I am going to, uh, first of all, move my echo over to this tree right here. Okay. And then uh, I got to make a save, don't I? Because I'm going to hit this thing. Uh, no, you're far enough away. Oh, good, because I would have failed miserably. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, I want to take out my longbow at this guy. Okay. Oh, 15 to hit. The, Is that your D4? We'll oh, oh, he's not. He's not. He's, uh, oh, yeah, he's unconscious. Uh, unconscious, so he's not concentrating. Mm. Mm. We're going to have to work on that, our lube. Concentrate and why keep concentration when you're unconscious. <laughs> Just try uh, harder that, next time, man. That is, uh, oh no, wait. Uh, bonus action to swap places with my echo. Okay. And then move him 30 feet into the next tree. All right, so you're playing like jump rope, basically. Oh, I'm staying off the ground. I I saw trivers. I know how it is. <laughs> All right. All right, pass turn. Um, let's see here. It is Yuri. Okay, so I will come over here, the line of sight. Uh, I'll pick up my bow and, and everything and stash it. And, um, yeah, 30 feet. Have line of sight on the Umber Hulk. And will, he still has my Hunter's Mark on him. Yep, So he does. I will, 17 to hit. Unfortunately, that's one off. Oh, okay. Then I will pass turn. Right. Get off the ground! Arlen's Get gonna off go. the ground! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Arlen's gonna make a con save or a death saving throw. Uh, he succeeds one, so it's more success. Uh, Arlen, I need you to make a death saving throw. Gets five. All right, the little tiny guy. It's going to dash over here. Uh, as the Umber Hulk is going to also attempt to get over there, but his movement is actually not that bad, so he's going to dash over here. Hello, oh. Yuri. Oh dear. Uh, Yodelay. Your turn. Both the Arlen and Arlub are down? Yep. yep. Alright. Uh, let's see here. I believe... Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, dash over to my friends. Okay. So I'm gonna dash over here and I'm gonna have to resummon my echo up here in... Nope, not that tree. That's down this tree back here, up off the ground. Okay. And that's all I can do. 
All right, Yuri. I have a potion in my pouch just Results. for you, Arlen. Yeah. Yuri. Oh, no, wait. I'm going to spit a good berry in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please don't. Please, please don't do that. <laughs> You're unconscious. You can't say anything. You don't have input. <laughs> Two swings, miss on. This is what you see whenever you open your eyes. Right. And the, by the way, I will say this Umber Hulk is looking really bad right now. Yeah. Uh, Arlen's gonna make a con save. Not bad Easy. enough. Another success. Arlen, make a, a death save. Alright. Yeah, there's two fails. After a five on the last one. Uh, yeah. Do you do you want to get some final words out? I guess. Don't spit berries in my mouth. Oh, you chew it. You chew it. <laughs> At least oh. I died as I lived, I'm eaten by an Umber Hulk. All right. Uh, yeah. I'll be back. Probably as yes. another character. <laughs> as Arlen mm -hmm. unfortunately mm -hmm. falls, um, it's a small cockroach's turn. As he's going to make an attack roll. 20 to hit. It hits. How much damage? Five? Seven. Seven. All right. The Umber Hulk. Yep. Is going to make attacks at you for that one. Him. A 12 to hit. Misses. All right, then finally mandibles for a 15 to hit. That hits. Uh, for 12 points of slashing. Yodele. I, after seeing uh, Arlen fade. I cry out in a plaintive wail and shoot that stupid Umber Hulk. I miss because I'm so upset. I'm so very upset. All right. But uh, I'm going to swap places with my ego and get up in this tree so I can get right. a better sight line. All right, our lube is gonna make one more death save. That's a five, so that's one failure. Uh, Yuri. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, swipe, the, hey, 20 for, uh, 21 to hit. That'll hit. And five points of damage. How do you want to do this? Oh, okay, so I just, for Arlen, and just like slash up through the uh, the Umber Hulk and uh, and take off his carapace. Yeah, so I'm gonna say for this, uh, you smash that cockroach pretty easily, uh, and I'm gonna say you get a uh, good berry in Arlo's mouth. As yeah, that's, that would be our next uh, next thing. Yeah, I'd say. I mean, one of you could just make it over there like instantly. Yeah. As wow, that was those were some seriously bad. Death saving throws. Yeah. A five and an at one. Yeah. All right. What would you guys like to... Actually, as we are finishing up combat, you see... Assuming you guys are going to do... Uh, actually, what are you guys going to do real quick? Well, I'm going to go over and cry over poor Arlen for a second. <laughs> and uh, get me some... <laughs> new boots yeah. he would have wanted me to have them <laughs> and I'll take the sending stone and call back and say we need somebody to come uh, resurrect Arlen right now um so you hear back resurrect it now! From, from ignition right 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 this minute wait hold on he died now Quick, before his soul leaves. I think his soul is already 
Has it been a minute yet? Can. No, he's still yeah. in the body. It's still warm. He wanted me to have his boots. <laughs> if you're taking my boots, don't resurrect me. If 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 you can bring, <laughs> if you can bring him back to town, I might be able to do something. But you might be but he might be in some serious debt. He would want it that way. Being in debt? Yes, being in debt and alive. All right. Well, I think we uh, we cut our losses and we try to get out of here because yeah. we don't know what shadow creature is uh, is going to do next. So I think we have to cut our losses and, and head back. Right before you actually leave, the shadow appears right in front of you, uh, Yuri, and in its hand, <laughs> <laughs> you try you try slashing at it, just, and, it just, and I start slashing. And it just kind of goes right through it, but in its hand, you see it holding this dark wood um, bow. This uh, darker wood, and it says, and it doesn't say anything, but it kind of gestures for you to take it. Okay, I, I, I take the bow. This is creepy. <laughs> All right. Me and my echo pick up Arlen and start carrying him back. All right. Fireman carry style. Just yep. Yep. So, are you guys going back to the small encampment, or are you guys going straight back to the city? Well, we have to go back to the encampment. That's where we left our horses. <laughs> All right. Yeah, um, I mean that's we have to go back and let them know that we are we are we are having to go back to the the larger city. Be, they'll be unprotected by us. And they need to go skin that umber hulk for me because I want that shell. All right. So. I want to make a, a shield out of it or something. I don't know. That's some good shell. You don't just leave carapace like that laying around. So you all head back. Uh, and upon your arrival, everyone is shocked to see Arlen dead. And everyone's just like, everyone's thinking and they're just like, no, he, he can't be. Not this early. <laughs> I know everybody. You hear all the people. They're like, "He's such a good person. He was so brave. He owed me five dollars." <laughs> Man, I hope he doesn't die. <laughs> he was all the right. best of us. He put himself in harm's way so that we could slay the beast. So, uh, uh, Cameron walks up to you all and he says. If you all need to take horses and head back immediately, you can. You may. Uh, it shouldn't take too long uh, upon horseback and traveling at a fast pace to get back to the city, if you wish to go. Yes, let's, let us make haste. All right, so you guys going to do that? Yeah, we're going back to the city. All right, so you all ride upon horseback. Uh cutting through the four not cutting exactly through the forest, but still riding along the coast. Um, but uh, managing to not attract the attention of any sort of monsters or any sort of things like that. As I'm, a I'm assuming you're heading to the temple of the Magma Lord. I'm, I'm on the phone with the guy the whole time. Yeah, he's like, just get him here and I can try to do what I can. 911, uh, what's your emergency? <laughs> he's <laughs> dead! <laughs> uh... Let's see. Oh gosh, what's the? All right, so get him back to the Church of the Magma Lord. Ignition takes him. And what's the highest level uh, revivify spell other than revivify? Revivify is after only one minute. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm trying to look for what's the next one. Raise dead. Raise dead. Reincarnation. Make him be that's... another race. I believe that's level five. Yeah. Yeah, I think re. Yeah, he has raised dead. Um, how much is the material cost? Diamond worth at least 500 gold pieces. Okay. So he grabs a diamond that he has, sort of takes it, lays it near you, Arlen. And Arlen, you find yourself adrift upon in this midnight in this sort of shadow as you're walking and seems to be no end but you find yourself approaching a gate 
And as you approach this gate, a light comes back from behind you. As you can see what appears to be a uh, the temple of the Magma Lord around you. Um, you see your dead body lying there. You see Ignition. You see your friends, which... What are your friends? Uh, what are you all doing? As you're waiting. Crying mostly. I, I'm... I, I, even though that I know he's not there, I, I, I cry out, just come back to us. Please, I, you can't leave us this early. I was like, if you get here, I'll get you a new set of boots. Just come back. <laughs> and as, as you see your friends and you do this as, as you're looking, you hear a voice in your head. And it says, you have a decision to make. But I tell you, depending on your choice, if you decide to go back, your afterlife will not will not be here for you once you die again. No. So make your choice. So if I go back, you're saying that I would be a wandering spirit forever. Yes. Lost forever to the wilds. Well, Fortunately, I guess I'm an elf, so I'm going to have a long lifespan anyway. Maybe I'll be able to redeem that somehow. So, I got nothing in the afterlife waiting for me, but a lot to do there in the real world. So, You did die quite young. And I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to go back. All right. You have made your choice as all of a sudden the diamond appears to break as as you draw your breath again once again arlen and you are awake again he's alive uh, and i look over at yodelay oh, and i say deities. yodelay you carried me all the way here i did these boots made it easy i want my boots back <laughs> No, no, you gave them to me as you were dying. You don't remember. It's fine. I, I, but I'm not dying anymore, so I want my boots back. But they look very, very good on me. Hey, Yuri, that's a, a great bow. Where'd you get your bow? I don't... Hey, the, give I, him that bow, Yuri. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Uh, I don't know the, the, the shadow that we were following gave this to me as we were leaving. I, I need to go talk to an arcane master uh, to have identified what it is, because I haven't shot it yet, though. So is that... Arlen has had a day. Give him the bow. Jesus. No, no, I don't want the bow. <laughs> did, did, uh, did, did, uh, I want my boots. <laughs> but did, then I uh, won't have any. If the shadow gave you the Except bow... Except for this extra pair of boots that I have. Is the, is the shadow on our side? You know, I, I don't, I don't really know. I don't know if, the, you know, was the shadow luring us there to take care of the Umber Hulk for the, this is the first I'm hearing about this. Well, we followed a shadow, and apparently it gave us a bow. Maybe we had to take down that Umber Hulk. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm one that the the forest gives me gifts, but normally it's like uh, food or you know pathway when I'm lost or something like that. I don't normally or get boots. physical Yeah. Um, so Arlen, I don't normally get bows from the uh, from the forest. Arlen, you hear um, uh, one more uh, one more voice inside your head. Uh, the same voice as earlier whenever you were dead. Say, you have made your choice, son of the isolated islands, but be warned the shadow is not to be completely trusted. Arlen. Arlen. Yeah. You faded yeah. out there for a second, buddy. This, what happened? The, the, yeah, the shadow. Okay. So I heard a voice when I was dying, 
and she spoke to me and said, the shadow is not to be trusted. Huh. Okay. So, Was it the same voice that said, you should give Yodelay your boots. He's a good guy. <laughs> no, it was the same voice that says, Yodelay stole your bo- boots. That's the voice of the dirty liar. <laughs> Uh, you hear Arlib say, "Well, I'm just glad you're alive. I'm I'm sorry about that." Oh, Arlib, it's not your fault. You went down to we. Well, I figure because it actually happened about the same time as I did. Yeah, I, I, I just I, all I remember was seeing you go down. I was like, I'm, I'm going to touch out and reach out and grab him and heal him. But then I just got hit as well, and I couldn't do anything about it. And the next thing he saw was me spitting a berry in his mouth. And it didn't even work. <laughs> well, I think, uh, I think, well, I think I need to rest. Um, but, uh, maybe, uh, maybe we need to go talk to some people about this. Or maybe we just need to head back to where we were before. Obviously, um, that's a happening so- place. I would say actually, uh, you guys were traveling at a fast pace. It is it is going to be nighttime, and traveling at yeah. night through the fort jungle is not a great good, probably not a great idea. Right. Plus, Plus I need a long rest. 15? I mean, I was saying we could do it now. I'd say we. I I need go back in the morning. Go back in the morning to the place. Oh, you should definitely rest. Yeah, we should. We've had a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I died. That wasn't fun. You're only mostly dead. I was only mostly dead. All right. So, as... so when uh, as we we go about, I need to go find a wizard or an arcanist or something like that. So do you go to uh, Lurko is probably your, the one you know the most. Uh, so if you need to identify anything, you probably go to him. Yeah, that's that's uh, where I go, um, and I, I go talk to Lurko and and try to get him to identify the bow. So, uh, first off, before you leave the Church of the Magma Lord, Arlen, he says, yep. Arlen, I'm sorry to break it to you, but you kind of have a 500 gold piece debt now. Oh, yeah, no, that's okay. Uh, Yodelay said he'd take care of it. No, I said I'd take you here. <laughs> See, that's your, all those hearing problems from being mostly dead all day. I said I would take you here. Well, My money is diverted to my displacer fund yeah so you all so you all can uh yeah talk well, about and I, that and I, I give him 100 because i think i have 100 gold pieces so all i right. hand him 100 gold pieces he says I say, i'll pay it off as i can all right i'm not too worried about it it's just you know it would be nice to get another 500 gold piece diamond so that if something like this happens again yeah, I is, yeah. Is there a place we could unload an Umber Hulk skull, skull, exoskeleton? Um, because I'm gonna go back and get it tomorrow and bring it back to sell it. If there's one thing I've learned, monster parts are worth money. Everybody wants to cure their vitiligo and and euthanasia and whatever they got. True. Um. So, <clears throat> Derek, uh, Yuri. You yeah. walk to Lorco's uh, little school of magic, and you walk in. Once again, he appears asleep, even for an elf, which is kind of you know weird for an elf to sleep. Um, he he wakes up as you enter, and he says, "Ah, Yuri, back so soon? What happened?" And Unfor- unfortunately, we had to return. Quickly, uh, Arlen met with a, uh, a very quick end, and we had to save him uh, from the uh, the afterlife. Uh, so the horrible, horrible while we were out, we saw a shadow, and this shadow looked a lot like you. And so the shadow also gave me this bow that I have in my hand here, and I'm hoping that you can identify it in some you know, arcane way. Um, and, and, and try to help me out here. So, by the way, the half high elf and the shadow were completely different um, uh, entities. Uh, he screams although, out, "You fool! You brought it here!" <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought the shadow looked like Lurko. 
Uh, no, the shadow, the shadow was just it, uh, unidentifiable, unidentifiable humanoid. Oh, Sorry, okay. I, 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 I was, I was mixed up. I apologize. Yeah. So basically, uh, you can still kind of tell him about the the high elf that looked like him, and also about the shadow. And he kind oh, of the high elf looked like Lurko, not the shadow. Yes. Mm. Okay, so I knew someone looked like like Lurko. I just had the wrong person yeah. in my notes. It's all right. It's been a week, <laughs> so, uh, so the he takes the bow, uh, and kind of touches it for a second, and he says, "Hmm, what you have here, my good sir, is a plus one longbow." Okay, I'm, I'm that's that's great, and, and I can definitely use that, but. Does it seem weird? Does it seem cursed in any way? I can look at it a bit deeper if you wish for me to. Uh, okay. And uh, over the next couple days, if you wish for me to. Uh, so I'll do that if you wish. Oh, couple days. We got to get back to the camp. They're defenseless. <laughs> I have to. I have to sleep for four days because the ray's dead. I'm at negative four, and I get a. Plus, yeah. So I'm gonna have to buy a wagon so you as, can sleep on the trip. As far as the shadow goes, um, for people that have gone out into the wilds of the island, sometimes they've seen shadows, but most of the time that's just been their. We believe that's just been their madness, their insanity, kind of. But for it to give you something is quite peculiar I'll definitely take a look at it as far as okay. this person that looked like me I'm looking into that right now uh, I'll... that's not ominous at all <laughs> looking into it well, Wait, is this a I, real... I, here? I can tell you what I think happened Um, a long time ago I fell in love um, as most people do at some point in their lives uh, ended up uh, she ended up getting pregnant and we had weird dreams about the child not making it so we both and for both of us to have this dream was weird well of course i'm not really dreaming well she had the dream i just kind of while tranced i got weird visions um so we headed off and ex and went to a different island before we saw visions of it believing that maybe that would help um we headed there, and there was a young woman there, and she explained that she could help us, but it would cost us. Oldest con in the book. <laughs> uh, some of my youthfulness went away, and I now have to sleep, uh, sort of like a curse um, mm -hmm. that, I can't, that I've never been able to get rid of. Um... And, of course, my wife died a very long time ago for she was human. Um, but mm. this young woman on the island appeared to be a powerful spellcaster. And she took my child. Um, he... Uh, Apparently he's probably now on this island, and now I'm trying to see if I can find him, maybe, but I have not been outside the walls in a very long time. But if I can just try to find a way to talk to him, maybe I can get through to him, but I don't know. So it's, so if we run across this, this half elf again, mm -hmm. Should we bring them to you, or what should we do? Like, is this person a threat to the citizens of this land? Well, what was? Well, did you get to talk to him at all? I didn't. I, I just uh, I saw the Umber Hulk, and I I mean he I, threw I was an chasing. Arrow at him. He did shoot an arrow at him. 
Yeah. Uh, so if he was ranger for tall. If if he was trying to kill you, then maybe he's a threat. Probably a threat. Um and I will say you must do what you must. So subdue so do whatever okay. you must if you're around him. Okay. Um, other than that, I will check up this bow for the next couple days, but you should rest for tonight at the very least. I'm going to go check on, on Arland and uh, make sure that he is uh, is doing okay and, and try to uh, to talk to my my other... Uh, who stole the boots? That uh, see if I can broker peace between the two. All right. So you head back. Uh, I head back. Uh, where where did you two run off to? What you me? Off, yeah, where'd you run off to? Oh, I've just been going around, you know, asking people randomly on the street. Do you think I'm pulling these boots off? <laughs> How do you think these look? All right, Arlen, what are you doing right at the moment? Sleeping. I'm I'm sleeping. I I need to recover as much as possible. Where are you so, sleeping uh, at? Did you go back to your monastery? Uh, yeah, I think I would have. I think it's it's not too far out of town, and and I know the path easily, and and that's where I can meditate and recover, uh, probably faster than then maybe even a little faster than I would under normal circumstances. Yeah, I'm going to get him a fruit basket. I'd say some of your monastery or most all your monastery would let you in, ask you questions about what happened, but you would answer them and they would understand and yeah. explain that they're just glad you didn't go pass away completely. Yeah. And so uh, I've got, you know, maybe there's some kind of deal I can make when it comes my time to actually die again. So that way I'm I mean, not you are a wandering spirit forever. You are still young, one of them explains. You have, what, 600 years? Yeah. To figure it out, so. Yeah, when you only got 600 years to live. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you rest. And you and you meditate. Um, so as you're, Yuri, as you're looking for your both of your friends, uh, you only find Arlub, and uh, you only find Arlub and Yodele, who appear to be going around town showing off their new boots. Uh, and getting a fruit basket. <laughs> and then I'm I'm gonna take it to the monastery, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give Arlen back his boots and say, here you go, and here's your and the boots smelled like that when I got them. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, Yodely, why don't you come rest here? It's getting dark outside. You don't want to be walking back in the dark. Yeah. So the, Especially with no boots. So <laughs> the, the, to explain the monastery is a bit... Uh, uh, it's on the eastern side of the island, uh, only a little bit out from town, but a sizable enough to where it'd be a little bit dangerous to make the walk. Right. Um, so you just and, rest here. We'll, we'll find you some boots before you leave in the morning. And Yuri, did you go? No, with... all I have is this pair I came with, and <laughs> then the go... ones I gave you. Did you go so... with the Odele, Yuri? Yeah, I would go with you. I, okay. I would go with uh, with our, our grung friend, who I believe is probably enamored with the Odele. Uh, and so, just a tiny uh, bit. It was it was love at first sight. This is very true. So I am going to go protect the Grung more than I am the the Echo Knight, yeah. and uh, so I go along and I don't take up much room. So um, yeah. if I can have just a, a small pad, I will I will sleep in the monastery tonight. You are all welcome. Pad. <laughs> so the monastery hasn't had well many outsiders as of late, but they allow your friends to come in, understanding that they helped you. They they took care of you whenever you died yeah um, not allowed beyond the front gate <laughs> <laughs> you sleep on, on the you gate. sleep outside <laughs> um but but um I get this you guys, a lot you guys rest for tonight yeah. and you level up hey yeah. that's, that's where we're gonna end it for tonight level four